Hi there, I'm Robert Osborne. Back in May, we took a close look at playwrights on screen. In other words, movies made from works which were originally conceived for the stage. Like our next film here on TCM, which is a bright, very funny comedy called The Man Who Came to Dinner. It's about what happens when a man, a very famous man, visits a family, has an accident in their home, and then becomes a somewhat permanent house guest, turning the household topsy-turvy and leaving no one's life untouched. The original play was written by two very witty men of the theater, George S. Kaufman and Moss Hart. It became a huge hit in New York, soon after was turned into this movie version we're about to show you now, with a screenplay by Jules J. Epstein and Philip G. Epstein, two brothers who soon after working on the script of this movie began writing the screenplay of Casablanca. An interesting thing about this movie version of The Man Who Came to Dinner, the central character is the man, the one who came to dinner, and the man they cast in the part is Monty Woolley, who had also starred in the play on Broadway. But he wasn't a famous movie name. So to kind of juice up the box office, they got Betty Davis to play a rather secondary role of a secretary. It's a part Betty was actually more than willing to play because she wanted to be in a comedy as a change of pace from all the heavy dramas she'd been doing recently. Also in the cast, add even more box office weight, Anne Sheridan, the movie's famous oomph girl. And there's also Jimmy Durante. Here, made in 1941, released in January of 1942, The Man Who Came to Dinner. That part Anne Sheridan played, Lorraine Sheldon, was supposedly based on actress Gertrude Lawrence. And part of the fun of this movie when it came out was identifying the famous people who were counterparts to the characters being portrayed. Sheridan Whiteside, for instance, he was based on a famous radio commentator of the day named Alexander Wolcott. And the banjo character, played by Jimmy Durante, that was based on Harpo Marx. And the Beverly character, played by Reginald Gardner, was supposedly a carbon copy of Noel Coward. Up next, we look at the work of playwright Lillian Hellman, with the movie starring Audrey Hepburn and Shirley MacLaine. Turner Classic Movies is open all night. Shirley MacLaine and Audrey Hepburn fight off a student's accusations during the Children's Hour. Then Shirley changes sides during a range war to help Glenn Ford as the Sheep Man. And then Robert Iyer's a frightened boy who learns to deal with the dark at the top of the stairs. Turner Classic Movies is keeping the light on.